Welcome to the Huddle Show. I'm your host, Samuel McDuffie, Huddle South. I'm here with Rock. Um, we're live at Brandywine, Maryland at Gwent Park High School. I'm um, going to ask Mr. Rock a couple of questions. Yes, Mr. Rock, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yes, sir, man. Um, oh, I'm my bad. I ain't. Um, yeah, like I said, man, 2006, graduated right out of here, um, Gwent Park High School. 2010, uh, graduated out of Virginia Tech. Fourth round draft pick from there. Um, played about four years uh, down in Houston with the Texans. Um, then got uh, traded up to Philly. Did two years with Philly when Chip Kelly was in Philly. I was I was starting up there. Actually, did a lot of playing time for him. Um, yeah, then retired after that man and got back to the community. More focused on what I like to do, which is you know helping these younger guys reach their goal. Great, great, great. Um, you said you went to Virginia Tech. How was that experience leaving Gwen Park High School and going to a um, major D1 school? Uh, it was great, man. I got to meet a lot of guys, you know, a lot of a lot of guys that's in the league right now. Um, got to learn a lot. Um, was definitely in a bit of a culture shock, you know, uh, being up there around, you know, different people, different uh, races, different backgrounds. Um, but overall, I think it was great. Um, I tell all my guys, I think it's great to get away and go to school, you know, get away from home so you can learn and be put in those different situations and, you know, see how you grow from there. Great, great, great. Um, what was one of the learning lessons that you did learn in college? Um, I would say the number one thing I learned in college, man, is uh, people don't know that they don't know. And I used to hear one of my coaches say that all the time. You play a game or, uh, you know, a play happens and fans are going to talk, you know, people are going to do interviews and do whatever, but they don't know what you put into, you know, to do that or what went into making that play. So let them be fans and be who they're going to be. And people don't know that they don't know. So that was a lesson that I took from Coach Beamer and use it in my everyday life. So. Wow. That was a good lesson. Um, you made it to the NFL, correct? Yes, sir. So, you know, in business and sports, to get to that high level, you got to have that 1% mindset. Definitely. What would you, what advice would you give the youth to be that alpha dog and, and reach that 1% mindset? Um, it's the same thing, man. Like they tell you from all the time, it's somebody always working. And, you know, how I made it become a 1% it was I made sure I was that person that was always working. So it's, it's, you're going to have your practices with your team, but you got to do more. You're going to have your, your, your extra workouts, but you got to do, still do your push-ups at night. You're going to have to drink the right amount of water. You're going to have to, you know, just, it's a lot of other things that go into being a one percenter than just scoring touchdowns and, and you know, and making big plays. Like, you got to check all those things off your list. So if you're serious, you know, uh, um, it would make sense to you. But I tell guys all the time, like, that's why this game isn't for everyone because if you want to make it to that highest level, man, it's a lot more that goes into it. And I really only see a few guys, like, no disrespect to you seeing everyone that was here on the field. Out of 50 guys that was on the field, maybe one of them will make it. And that's just the, that's just the facts. So Only only one, that 1%. Um, I got two more questions for you. Um, being in the NFL, who's somebody that you looked up to not just because of their play, but their the way they carry themselves, their character, and their integrity. Josh Morgan, um, that's easy to say. He's out here with us today. Um, he played for the uh, 49ers, the Redskins, about a 10-year vet in the NFL. Um, but when I went into Virginia Tech, he was a guy that took me under his wing. Um, he, like I said, he showed me a lot. So I, I always told him I I got to do that same thing to give back. So I. Ever since that day, he took me under his wing from showing me what cafeterias to eat at, what work, you know, workouts to do, how to be a professional. I've just been giving it back since then. So, Josh Morgan for me. Josh Morgan. Thank you, Josh Morgan. Each one, teach one. Um, last question. How did you get the name Rock? If you don't mind us asking the Huddle Show, how did you get the name Rock? Where did that come from? <sighs> Definitely, man. Just uh, always been a hard head. Like, I was one of those guys. I'm from the South. Um, we lived in uh, Carolina, South Carolina, until I was about 10 years old. Then we moved up to this uh, PG County area. And like I said, when I was there, man, I was a guy that was outside on them dirt roads um, doing backflips off of trailers and stuff, all the stuff your mama don't want you to do. So being a hard head, they just called me Rock, and it stuck from there. So. 
All right. Um, why was we here today? What What was the mission? Um, to try to give back to the to the youth, but in a way, like I said, man, we compete. I I, I play with guys in Florida and Texas and Georgia, Carolinas, uh, Cali, and the way that their ball. Uh, grows the way it does they have guys like myself like Q like Josh that come back and, and give back to those younger guys but even more important to that they 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 make the younger guys understand about the puppies you know the, the the babies that we had out there like I told the guys today that was the most important like what we doing we training we getting better but just having those you know 10 11 year olds around to, to see what good work is, good competition, and, you know, nobody fighting, you know, making the play, shaking the next man's hand. Um, those those type of things, it'll do wonders for them in, in, in their future, man. But like I said, that's what they're already doing in, in, in Carolinas and in Florida and Texas, and we're trying to bring that up here and give our kids that edge as well. And so many gems, I, I, I can't even repeat them. So, Mr. Rock, is anything else that you will uh, leave us with? Uh, nah, man, just stay tuned. Uh, one Village, go training. Bless all people. All right. You heard it first from Rock. Um, we silent out from Huddle South. Um, stay tuned. Thank you, Mr. Rock. Yes, sir.